Welcome to section 7.8. All right, gentle people, what we're going to talk about in this video is we're going to talk about salts. And when I say the word salt, what I really want you guys to think about are ionic compounds, things like NaCl, KCl, KNO3, basically two things coming together that are charged particles. Now, the reason we care about salts is they produce ions and solutions. And how those ions interact with water will make the solution acidic or basic. So that's what we're going to explore in this section. What will the effect of the salt be on the pH of the solution? Now, the first thing you can do is we can try to look at things that don't affect the pH. Now, here are a list of salts, KCl, KNO3, NaCl, NaNO3. They all make neutral solutions. Now, if we look at these compounds, we start to notice a trend here. And that is, if we look at the cation, the cation is associated with something that is a strong base. And if we look at the anion, it is associated with something that is a strong acid. So if I have a combination of these two things, a cation from a strong base and an anion from a strong acid, I'm gonna get a neutral solution. So what do I mean by that? So let's go ahead and take potassium. So K plus, and I'm going to introduce it to water. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write water a little bit funny. I'm gonna write it as HOH. What I'm trying to show you is that H plus is a cation that is attached to OH minus the anion, and this makes water. So if I were to go ahead and have a reaction, my potassium is going to go ahead and combine and make KOH, and I'm going to be left with H+. If I were to try to draw an equilibrium arrow, I want to ask myself which side of the reaction is favored. And what I know is KOH is a strong base. This is going to completely dissociate. What I would normally write is that KOH breaks up into K plus and OH minus, and I drew a hard arrow. So in truth, there is no equilibrium here. This should be a hard arrow going this way. And so what that says is I'm gonna stay as potassium ions and I'm gonna stay as water. And so that K plus is coming from a strong base. I can do the same thing with Cl minus. Cl minus plus H plus OH minus and what I can do is I can say that the Cl minus is going to combine with HCl and I'm going to get my OH minus. And again, HCl is a strong acid. It is going to completely break up. And so the reaction is not going to make HCl. It wants to stay as Cl minus. And so this is why these ions are going to be neutral in solution. They don't want to go to this other side making H pluses and OH minuses. They want to stay as the ions and they want to stay as water. Okay, gentle people, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Tell me what happens when I put NaF into solution. Will this make the solution acidic or basic? All right, the first thing you guys want to do is you want to take your salt and break it up into the ions. So we have Na plus and F minus. We've already talked about Na plus. We said that it comes from a strong base, so it doesn't have any effect on the pH. But let's take a look at F minus. So F minus is going to react with water, and I'm going to write water in my funny way. And then what it's going to make is HF plus OH minus. Now take a look at what this reaction does. What you guys will notice is that HF is a weak acid. So because it's a weak acid, it wants to stay together. It doesn't want to give up its F minus. It wants that F minus and that H plus to come together and make HF. Now if that's the case, if it wants to come together, this is the side that's going to be favored. And what you guys will notice is to make HF, I have to produce OH minus. And so in this case, what I get is a slightly basic solution. 
To summarize this point, what this is saying is that if your anion of your salt is from a weak acid, then that means it will become basic in solution. And that's because that anion is gonna to want to grab H's and it wants to become the weak acid itself. And as a consequence, it's going to generate OH minus molecules when it comes together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and try another one. What happens if I have NH4Cl? All right, let's write the reaction down. I'm gonna break it up into ions, NH4 plus Cl minus. Now we've already discussed Cl minus. Cl minus comes from a strong acid, so it does not affect the pH. So Cl minus just makes neutral solution. But let's take a look at NH4 plus. Now your instinct might say, oh, let's go ahead and combine it with OH minus. But remember that NH4 plus is an acid itself. So what this salt does is it breaks up into an acid. And if that's the case, it's going to be acidic. So another way that we can do these types of problems is we can look at our Ka table. If the ions make an acid that appears on that table, then what you can say is it is going to be acidic. However, if we look and we see that it makes anions and that anion is the conjugate base of a weak acid, then it is going to make the solution basic. So all of this is summarized in table 7.6. It is going to tell you if you're going to make a solution that is neutral, basic, or acidic based on the ions of the salt. Now don't worry about this last one on here. We're not gonna be talking about metal ions in solution. Now there is one case that I didn't talk about, and that is if the cation and the anion are both acidic and basic meaning the cation is the conjugate of a weak base and the anion is the conjugate of a weak acid. Now, if this is the case, what you have to do is you have to compare Ka's and Kb's. The higher equilibrium constant is going to dictate if the solution is acidic or basic. So if Ka is bigger, it's gonna be acidic. If Kb is bigger, then that's gonna be basic. And this last scenario, I don't think you'll ever see. So just worry about the top two. All right, gentle people, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and practice this out. So what I've done is I've given you guys a list of compounds. Go ahead and tell me if these compounds are acidic or basic. And after you guys are done listing if this is acidic or basic, you guys can go ahead and check your answers. All right, gentle people, I hope that made sense, and remember to stay safe, Chem1B.